Okay, class vocabulary is fast. This is now the second video of the 32nd uh, day. And I want to go on with the idea of, of uh, law as a genre. Uh, and so this would be back on genres mentioned. Genres, I think it's 3.1 or 3.2, maybe 3.2 by now. And I was going down through a list, uh, Emily Post's Rules for Etiquette. I should have my hat off in the presence of ladies, according to... Uh, etiquette. But anyway, it, but it's cold out. Uh, anyway, uh, another, the last one that I want to tell you about is, is a set of rules for behavior called Robert's Rules of Order. Nobody really knows who Robert was, but he wrote a, a, a set of rules for how you run meetings, rules for running meetings. And in one form or another, it in a way makes the world go round uh, in church board, uh, church council meetings or town council meetings, even in the uh, uh, government of, of countries, they'll, if they're democratic, they'll use some form of this. Uh, and in a nutshell, it goes like this. I, I make an ellipsis here, to, or uh, I mean a colon, to say this is like a little bit of a play. And according to Robert's Rules of Order, the one who is going to run a meeting is called the chairman or the chair. Sometimes he's simply called the chair. It could be a woman in case it would be a chair woman or chair person. But anyway, chairman is what they will usually say. And at the beginning he'll bang that, that wooden thing called a gavel and you know kids will say, oh he says order in a court. Now a court is something different. But he'll bang something to get or do something, ring a bell, shout, to get uh, attention and say now it's going to begin. And he says, I called this meeting to order. Uh, and uh, uh, hopefully he gets order. Well, then he'll, the next thing he'll do is say, ask the secretary, and I'll box these terms, which I expect you should know. You, you need to know these. Just in case when you become adults, you get in a world where this kind of thing goes on. Uh, it's very possible. Uh, he'll ask the secretary to read the minutes. Well, the minutes are the record of the last meeting. Uh, what happened at the last meeting. And the secretary, they're such hard workers, they write all this stuff down. They read the minutes and they'll listen. And then uh, uh, he, the uh, uh, chairman has to ask the group, are these approved? Uh, they, they vote on this. Uh, or should we approve these? And somebody might say, no, no, some, that's not what happened in the last meeting. Something's different and they may have to amend them or change them. It, there might be discussion, but if the secretary did really good work, then the, the minutes will be approved as read, and then they become official. Then the, uh, the uh, uh, chairman will say that ask for the treasurer to give his report. The treasurer is the person who keeps track of the money. The group, uh, maybe they have some money, so do we have any money? The treasurer will give a report, and I wrote down IBID. It has, by that I mean approved. Is it's approved? And somebody might say, wait a minute, I thought we had $100 more than that. What happened to that? And they'll discuss it. But eventually it'll be approved. Well, once that's done, then in a, in a, in a business being run by Robert's Rules of Order, uh, they, they will turn to old business. You may be sitting there with a great idea. You, you just can't wait to, to say this idea, but it's new. Well, you're going to have to wait. Because we got to deal with old business first. So there was a committee at the last meeting sent out to find out about something or other. And they need to come back. And they, when we had not finished discussing whether we should do this, we need to return to that subject. You deal with old business. Uh, then you come to new business. Ah, finally, you, is there any new business, says the, run, the chairman. And finally, you've got this idea. You, you, raise, you, you, you get permission to speak. You raise, you get recognized by the chair. You have permission to speak. And you say, I got a great idea. We should um, all have a party. Uh, okay. Uh, that, and what you would say is, I move that we all have a party. Or I make the motion that we all have a party. I had a very embarrassing thing happen to me as a kid once I was in some like state thing where students in government or something and I stood up and I said I would like to make a movement well that's not what you say that was very embarrassing uh, the, I, 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 someone might say well then you would better go to the restroom if you're going to make a, a movement I felt really really embarrassed I never forgot it but anyway you can move something or you can make a motion uh, 
I, I make the motion that we have a party. Well, nothing will be done about this until somebody says, I second that motion. Or the chairman might say, "Is it, sec it has been moved that we have a party. Is it seconded? Somebody would say, I second it. Now, right there is a great chance for somebody to show that they are stupid or at least ignorant and do not know anything about Robert's Rules of Order. And you'll so often hear somebody says, well, I third that motion. That is a very stupid thing to say. And it's always a little embarrassing because when somebody says that, they don't really realize that that was a stupid thing to say. They're usually kind of tickled that, hey, if he seconds it, I third it. Now, you don't do that. Uh, but you, you can get past that. You'll probably hear somebody say that. Uh, anyway, if it's been, uh, the uh, uh, chairman will say it's been moved and seconded that we have a party. Is there any discussion? Discussion has to happen next. Discussion may go on for hours, minutes, I don't know. Uh, and and this, I'm, I'm, with so much of this stuff, I'm trying to make it simple. I, eventually, if you, you have to limit discussion, otherwise you've got something called a Oh, what is that called in government? Oh, I can't think of what the word is now. Where they'll just keep talking it over and over again. Uh, yeah, I, I just can't think of it. Anyway, there is a way filibuster. Uh, there is a way to stop discussion usually. Well, now the chairman will restate the motion. He'll say it's been moved and seconded that we have a party. All those in favor, signify by, and he'll say something like raise your right hand, say aye. It could be a, a silent vote, uh, and he'll count. All those opposed signify by doing whatever, standing on your head and, and uh, waving at the same time. Uh, it, that, would not, that would be a very bad piece of, of being a chairman. Uh, all right, anyway, uh, he will then announce the result. The motion carries. We're going to have a party. Or the motion does not carry and then they'll go on to another form of business. This is the way groups go about finding out what does the whole group want. Even if you don't agree, if you're going to be part of the group, you, you go along with what the majority has voted. Now, if it's a simple majority, it, this is all more complicated. Robert's Rules of Order, though, I want you to know that that is the authority on this. Uh, before the meeting is over, and these can get so long and so boring, when's the next meeting going to be? They have to discuss that and announce it. And it takes a motion to adjourn. Well, some, is somebody, somebody may say, I move that we adjourn the meeting. I think it has to be seconded. I don't know if it has to be discussed. But then if that is passed, the chairman declares the meeting is adjourned. So there, in a nutshell, you've got Robert's Rules of Order. Tomorrow you've got a test. I'm going to ask you questions, all, not about Shakespeare, but all the way back uh, I'll, I'll hear and there a question from the stuff I've covered in the last month. And then I'll say, all right, here are your words. Uh, write me some sentences and the board will be blank. If you are honest about it, you'll, uh, you'll, you'll, you'll see what you can do with this. I don't know how that's going to go because this is online, but I am trying to show you how I ran the class when I was teaching in public school. So, if you dare, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Be ready for a test.